Hello everyone, today we're going to make a chase scene in the subway. I found this awesome train model in Sketchfab and I decided to use it. Thank you Lucas Han 3D. Let's make scene settings first. I want to use train lamps as neon teal color lights. It's going to make the feel of dystopic ambient. I turn off world light as zero. I will use only area and point lights for the environment. I couldn't decide what kind of animation I want at first, so I tried some different camera angle. Inside of train is so bright. It needs to be dystopic and dark, so I need to make additional light setups. Now it's better, but this time the end of the wagon is completely dark, which is not looking good for my opinion couple of point lights can fix it. A straight camera movement would be good for the animation, but I'm still not sure about it. I want a very tense action scene. This area only needs small point lights. It's only for showing the end of Vagon. Okay, I'm happy with the lighting for now. Let's prepare environment with mid-journey. I'm planning to make a long background image and move it to give moving feel from windows. I generated this futuristic neon city image. I'm gonna generate more variation for it and I will make a long one image in Photoshop after that. I'm using generative fill for attaching all images. I want the train to look like it's going very fast. That's why I add motion blur to the background image. So it looks like the train is going very fast. I'm gonna move background image from right to the left. So when you look from window, you're gonna think that train is passing a futuristic city in fast speed. I'm duplicating background image for a couple of times to keep moving more long. I connected all duplicated images to first one so they're gonna move together with it. I want to move camera to the left because it's gonna be a chase scene and we will follow the survivor. I'm rotating camera to the back of the train because I want to show that survivor couldn't escape from the train and he is gonna look at us while he is disappear with the Vagon. I'm adding more brightness to background, and I will make it dynamic. So sometimes it will be more brighter as if train passing some more crowded area. Now we can add survivor character, and I will add running animation to it. I'm gonna use Mixamo as always. He is running on his place for now, but I'm going to connect it to empty axis so I can control his movements easily with it. I want to make him run in slow motion. Actually, I can prepare a tutorial about this section because you can control your animations here so easily. For example, you can make them repeat or faster. I'm gonna put him behind the background image because I'm planning to use another pose of him when he is looking from windows. So I don't need this running character at the end of train. You can just add keyframe after one frame and it won't be visible when it's moving that place. His face was too dark and I connected a small area light to his control rig. So it's moving with him all the way.
Now I can add zombie character. He is gonna chase the survivor, but I want a little bit crowded villain group. So I will duplicate him after I place him into train. I'm adding T-Pose version of the survivor because I want to prepare his pose manually. I'm planning to make him touch the window and he is gonna look at us. So tragic. I need to add a small light to enlight his face. It was too dark. Okay, I can place the zombie and I'm gonna do same process for his keyframes too. He will be in slow motion too. But in this case, there will be more zombies with same animation and you can add variation each of them and they won't look like clone. I'm adding small keyframes to lights, and I want to turn off them one by one for the end of the scene. At the other hand, there will be a question mark about Survivor's last state. What's gonna happen to him? Okay, everything is done. Now I can bake indirect light as always, and it's ready for the render. Depth of field is a must for my style. I can't forget to set it before render. Everything is good for me. Bye-bye, Survivor. We wish best for you.